Sneak up on me like that. Yeah, yeah, it's a barrel full of monkeys. Oh, ha, ha. Listen, is that a substitute for somebody I should know? Of course not. It's just that kneading dough can be very soothing when you have something else on your mind. Yeah, oh. keep that in mind. Ma, what are you doing here? Well, it's my day off. Oh, right. I thought that Joey might like something special for breakfast when he gets up. Joey's here? Yeah. He came by last night. Said he wanted to move back in. Good. Sort of. Why? What are you, what are you saying that for? Ma, these were dropped off for him, Ma. That's a lot. The Enoma thing. You know, I'm not sure that Joey is going to be ready to deal with this. I'll tell you one thing. I don't want to be the person to handle this. Dearest, how do you like this one? Uh, oh, it's nice. That's nice with the red, huh? <laughs> I'll try it on anyway. All right. I'll leave it here for you. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. Hi, Hi Sixty. Sixty. Hi. How's that beautiful baby of yours? Oh, he's wonderful. Uh, you know, Ethel's taking care of him at Myrtle's while I run some quick errands. That's thing. nice. Um, Myrtle, I brought you by this check here. This is for the groceries, okay, for yesterday? Oh, sweetheart, you didn't need to come over here with that. Oh, please, I don't mind. I had to stop by the bank anyway. You know, I don't like being in anybody's debt. <laughs> Thanks. See you at home tonight. Okay. Oh, my goodness, that was late for you. <laughs> Thanks. But unfortunately, it was priced for somebody else. <laughs> We're in the same boat. With Adam Chandler paying alimony, he couldn't possibly be pinching Penny. Oh, well, I'm afraid all I get is child support. No alimony? No. How did a rich man like that get away with something like that? It's the way I wanted it. No kidding. Oh, he must have been really angry with you when you left him for Tad. Of course, I totally understand why you did. I mean, Tad is quite charming. And not hard to look at, either. Mm. But the trouble with guys like that is they always end up breaking your heart in the end, don't they? I have to get back to work. Oh, dear. Um, I put my foot in it, haven't I? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I want you to know that I really respect you single working mothers. Thanks. You know, when Joey agreed to this annulment, I don't think he had any idea that everything was going to happen so fast. Well, one thing's for sure, it's going to hit him pretty hard. <sighs> Listen, Ma, you know, you... No! Absolutely not. I will not be the one who hands them these papers. And you know perfectly well, he and I have just recently begun to be able to talk to each other again. All right, well, do me a favor, okay? Just be standing by when I give them to him. That I can do. Good. Want a cup of coffee while you're waiting? Sure. You know, if you hadn't found Joey and talked to him the way you did, I don't know what might have happened. Ma, nothing would have happened. Joey would have been, would have been fine. I mean, he just, he took off, he would have come home a little later, that's all. Uh, you know, he, um, <clears throat> he mentioned that you are seeing Brooke quite regularly. He did? Yeah, he said that she came over to your loft last night. That's why he decided not to stay. He didn't want to intrude. Is this a quiz? Of course not. You don't want to talk about the No, no, no. Don't get that way. No, no. I mean, it's like if, I, if I, we can talk about it if you want to. I've got nothing to hide. You know what? I've known Brooke for quite a long time. You know, we're both surprised to find ourselves in this situation. What situation? We're friends. We're close. All right, Ma, we're lovers. Is that what you want to hear? Fine, yes, we're sleeping together. But, but most importantly, we, we're close. Darling, I think she's a wonderful woman. Well, I think she's better than that. She's terrific. I mean, I'm, I'm happy, she's happy. The relationship is good. But at this point, there are no commitments, you know, no, no promises. Is there anything else? Oh, I'm, I really, I'm not prying. I, I just... Oh, come on, you know I can never stop worrying about you. I know, it's part of your charm. Oh. <laughs> Listen, it's, uh, it's my turn. Okay. Have you been babysitting recently for Adam Jr.? No, not recently. Why? Well, it's been a long time since I've seen him, you know, and I thought that if he ever came over to the house, I could come over and, and, and spend a few hours playing with him. You miss him a lot more than you're willing to admit most of the time, don't you? 
Well, there was a time in his life when I considered myself his daddy. Why don't you call Dixie? I think she'd be very happy to have you see him. You could go over and see him at Myrtle's when she's at work. When Dixie's at work. Dixie. Well, why don't, why don't you just call me the next time Dixie plans on bringing him over the house, okay? Come on. It isn't the baby you want to see, is it? It's Dixie. Ma, you're dead wrong about me and Dixie. It is perfectly natural that you would want to see her. Ma, you make a great nurse, but don't try to be a psychologist, you'd stink. You still have very strong feelings for her, and I know it. Why would I deliberately set myself up to get hurt? Dixie would never deliberately do anything to Ma, her. Ma, it hurts just to see her. Now, can we please just drop the subject? All right. Does Brooke understand that you're not completely free emotionally? Maybe more than I do. Like I said, Brooke, Brooke and I enjoy being there for each other. But right now, there's no strings, there's no commitments. Well, I just hope nobody gets hurt. Hi, Joey. How you doing? Good morning, Joey. Joe, Java, brown water, dark stuff. Joey, hold on. There's no easy way to do this. What's that? Papers for Lee Mom. Did, did Emily Ann stop by? No, Jackson's office sent them over. You've got to sign them if you want. Well, it's an annulment still, which you both want. I don't want it. I don't have any choice. Listen, do you have a pen? Mm -hmm. This is just a request for an annulment, okay? Nothing is official before you two go before a judge. Well? How about that, huh? Get married to last forever in the last two months. All My Children will continue in a moment. Listen, Mom says that you know, there are lots more boxes downstairs. No, this is fine. I don't need any. I don't have that much. All right, right. Listen, listen, listen. i got to make one important phone call, and then we'll get started. Of course. Right, I'll take this stuff out. Hi, Joey. I saw your mother on the yard. And she told me about the annulment. Yeah, yeah, Joe. I don't know. I just don't feel like talking about it yet, okay? I mean, I know I made a mistake. You know that, and I know that. So if we could just... I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. I know. Well, maybe I'll learn something. Look, you know... However this has turned out, you did what you did for the best of motives. You wanted to help someone you loved. Thanks. You ready to go, John? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got the papers? Yeah, they're in the box. All right, I'll take them uh, over to Jack. All right, Jackson's. Yeah. Babysitting Junior over at uh, Myrtle's today? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go take him. You just reminded me, thank you, take him to the park for lunch. That sounds like so much fun. You guys, take your time. Oh, thanks. But in return, would you do me a favor? Could you drop this casserole off at Emmy's? I want to make sure she's eating right at least. Yeah, no problem. How's oh, it's not hot. Oh, thanks. How's she doing? Well, she's scared, Dick. She, she really cares about Joey, and it's hard for her to end the marriage, even though it was wrong to begin with. Yeah, well, I understand, of course. Oh, you, would you like me to say something to her? Oh, would you? Thank you. Sure. Hey, Hi, Sean, how are you? How are you doing? Hi. I mean, uh, hey. I guess I beat Joey over here, didn't I? Joey's coming over. Yeah, he, he asked me if I'd help him to move, if it's okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, Charlie and I were just leaving. Would you mind if I stay here? No, no. All right. Yeah. See you later, Ted. Yeah, take it easy. Emmy. I'm sorry it turned out this way. Yeah, me too. It'll get better. Hope so.
Hello? Dad? Hi. Hey, this is Joey. Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad you answered the phone. Listen. Where are you? I'm, I'm over at uh, Mr. Montgomery's office. I don't know. He wants to talk to me about some things about this, so I'm going to be a little late, okay? Well, that's fine. Do you mind if I wait for you here? No, no. As a matter of fact, that's what I want you to do. All right, I'll, I don't know. I'll be just a little while, okay? I'll get out as fast as I can. Okay, I'll see you. All right, later. Yeah. 